welcome to Lisa B. Welcome to the seven day challenge. Um, today is upper body, so we're on day five. Day five, yeah, day five. And it's all about the upper body, just five minutes a day, different parts of the body. Um, I hope you're enjoying this little seven day challenge. So let's just get on with stretching. Um, a little bit into the arms as well. So let's bring your right leg forward. And then make sure the knee stays kind of over that ankle. Bring the hands to prayer. Let's twist across. Hook the left elbow on the outside of that right thigh. So your hands might not be now into the heart center. So try and twist the upper body a little bit more. You may have a few little um, sounds coming from the back, a few little cracks there if you're lucky. So you're trying to twist to get the hands to heart center. But again, don't worry if you're here, eventually you're gonna be kind of more into the center. And then start to come out. You might be able to extend the arm down and the arm up, look up. Again, really feeling these nice stretches in the upper back. Come down. Let's go to the other side. Keep forgetting to check the time, otherwise I'll just be here forever stretching with you. So left leg forward, hands to prayer, twist across. Place the right elbow on the outside of the left thigh. Then twist the back more to try and get the hands to heart center. I'm a little bit less flexible on this side. Again, try, try not to tense into this, try to relax a little bit. And then open the arms. But again, this might be a little bit too much. You might wanna just keep the hands in prayer. And then come out of that. And then come into four point kneeling, so wrists under shoulders. So we're gonna inhale to take the right arm, right arm up, look up. Exhale down, thread it under, straighten both arms, lay the head, look to the left. And just take a couple of breaths here. Then come out of that. And then you're gonna lie onto your side. So create a little cushion, bend the knees, Place the hands together on the back of the head. So rest the head down. So you're going to inhale as you open that top arm and only roll back to the point where you feel like um, your hips are not rolling back. So the hips and knees stay stacked. They don't come out of alignment. So you open, you might be there, you might be able to come a little bit deeper into this stretch. But feeling a really nice stretch across the top side of the body, across the shoulders and the chest. There's three. Two more, four, imagine there's a wall behind the hips, so you're just stretching the upper body, five, and then come up. Let's go to the other side. So starting with that threading the needle, so left arm, inhale, take it up, look up. Exhale down, thread it under, straighten both arms, look to the right. The head might go down on the mat, it might not. It just again depends on the flexibility in the upper back. And then just come up and out of that. And then we're gonna lie on our side on this side. Again, creating that little cushion with the hands. Knees are stacked, hips are stacked. Just the top again. So just open again as much as you can. Only rotating the torso. It's almost like you're trying to get the chest to face the ceiling. There's one. Two, make sure the head rolls as well. So roll the head to keep in contact, looking at that elbow that's opening, that right elbow. Let's go for two more. Last one. And then come up. And then come to seated. 
time. Let's come round. Let's add a little twist here. So you're going to bend the right knee, just a little bit of a bend in the right knee. It doesn't need to be all the way up here. So reach your right hand behind you, place it on the mat. Left arm hooks across on the outside of that right thigh. I feel like my hair's a bit of a mess. And then look over your right shoulder, or you might look to the right. You might not be able to look behind you. So stay up seated, try not to be falling back here. So again, just hold in this stretch. So thinking twisting from the belly button up, that's kind of where you want to go with these twists. Twists are really great for the spine and the back as well as the upper body. Let's come out of that. Let's just change over, left leg bends, right arm hooks across, left hand behind you. Looking behind you, breathing, relaxing the shoulders. Imagine that left shoulder rolling back a little bit further with the exhale. And then start to come forward and then just come round to seated we're not finished yet one more exercise bring your hands onto the back of the head take an inhale exhale twist to the right three pulses one two three center and over one two three center exhale don't close the elbows, keep them open and twist. One, two, three, center. One more on each side. One, two, three, center and over. One, two, three and release. Maybe do a little head roll to get rid of any tension in the neck. Take a couple of breaths. Oh, and well done lovely people. That was day five of the seven day stretch. Um, please subscribe, um, let me know your thoughts, comment below, tell me how you're feeling, if you're getting a little bit more flexible and you're feeling good throughout these stretches. I will see you tomorrow for day six. Um, I think we're doing legs, yeah, day six. See you tomorrow, have a beautiful day, um, all sleep well.